Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely. So good to see you guys here today. This reading is for my Libras. This reading is crazy, bro. If you resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. The only reason it's crazy is because um, I was praying for the willingness to receive the right info to give to you guys. It's almost as if this info is clearly not mine. It, it's literally brought down from the divine because I haven't put this advice into play in my own life. So that's how you know the divine's actually working through me right now. And it's scary how much the divine works through me. Sometimes I, I fail to understand. You know how like tarot readers, sometimes when they give messages, I don't know if they feel this way, but so, I know I do where I feel like, am I giving the right message, right? So I pray, I pray for that. Make sure whatever needs to be received or said will be said, right? And it's crazy because this is clearly like not something I would think of. Right, so this is clearly con I, 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 I underestimate how well the divine can connect with me or through me to you guys. So, anyways, let's get started. We're at the Ten of Swords here. This is you at your lowest of your lowest. Some of you guys, there's like fear inside. You're inside. You're hidden inside of this like part of you. This like you're just hidden. You're hidden. You're closed off you your mouth is closed off you can't even talk you're behind something and it's like this activation has been glowing within you for a very long time it's been there activating hoping that you tap into this uh activation hoping that you would hear or heed the call of this activation here the divine's been trying to tell you for months for years that there's a whole beautiful bright future for you there's a beautiful brand new horizon, a brand new start, a brand new beautiful just life ahead of you. And it's taking every bit of you to try to believe. But the jadedness inside of some of you guys, man, it's not, and it's not your fault. I just think life had its way with you to the point where it's like, damn, you don't, I don't think you believe. That even though the divine is telling you something amazing is about to happen to you, you're about to receive some goodness in your life for once. Since these last cycles were really hard on everybody, you guys are just, you don't believe. Some of you guys are still stuck at the 10 thinking that it's going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. Some of you guys are wondering how you're going to be able to manage your life after um, all of these towers that occurred. After all of these life changes, how are you going to move on? How are you going to drag the baggage with you, pretty much? That's all it is. So some of you guys, the reason why you're not seeing or understanding that there's a beautiful future ahead of you is because you're thinking. It's like you're trying to force yourself to think that there's something better out there. The advice here is not to think. It has nothing to do with the mind. Okay? It's a whole new opportunity for you to explore. Um... Through your emotions. You, you, the opportunity is here and it's it's there. But think about it. See it this way. You're on top of the, the feelings of goodness. You're on top of feeling like you're happy. You're not within. You're not letting these waters or the current wash all over you. It's needing to do that. You're needing to feel rejuvenated. You're needing to feel healed. You're needing... You're needing to invest and believe that this is possible for you. But like I said, the reason you don't see it is because you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. It has, it has nothing to do with that. Some of you guys are wondering, because again, you're thinking about the past, of the things that used to make you happy, the things that used to resonate with your soul, right? But you're not understanding why. Again, In order for you to get over the past and the pain, in order for you to recall versions of yourself that used to be happy and wondering if you're ever going to get that back, you will. It just has nothing to do with the mind. It has to do with your inner child. The inner child. Look at this person, the magician. This is you looking at angelic, loving energy. This energy brings so much abundance into anything it steps into anything it approaches anything that aligns with it that's your inner child that's where your heart lives 
That's when it's, that's where you're most happiest when you let your inner child out or you, you or, or, or you embrace your inner child. Some of you guys have not embraced your inner child fully. You see your inner child and you take it as a joke. Some of you guys don't think, don't understand, you underestimate the power of your inner child. And that's for me too. That advice is for me. I underestimate what it is to really um, engage with this energy. I don't take it serious, as serious, right? Because it's my mind, my mind, my mind, trying to make my mind see it through, through the inner child's world, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. It, it doesn't do that. It's not, we're so programmed in society to be a specific way in order to protect ourselves, right? To, to, to go from that to, to being asked to embrace this beautiful, loving energy, the full energy, it's hard which is why it's saying like you're gonna have to connect you're gonna have to set some time to sit there meditate and, and engage with your inner child and listen to what it's asking of you some of you guys need to go out there use your left hand and start writing start journaling this is where your inner child lives start writing with your left hand and see what it wants don't think about it let let your heart talk Let it show you the way. Let it show you what it needs, what it wants. Maybe you just need healing too. Remember, the inner child isn't the one that's afraid. It's your ego, right? Your inner child can get hurt. All it needs to do is cry. And then it will be ready to go out and play. But it can't play until you heal. Some of you guys are on the process of healing. And this is why you're able to activate the inner child energy. Because you understand that it's essential, it's a, it's a vital part of your life. Without it, there's no imagination, there's no joy, there's no um, fearlessness. It's the inner child that wants to play. It's the inner child that acts as a fool. It's the one that goes out there and it knows no no bounds, it knows no limitation. The inner child doesn't perceive, it, it, can't, it can't believe in that, it doesn't believe in that. It goes out there and it goes full force and it loves all day, every day. It doesn't give a fuck if it gets, if its heart gets broken. It doesn't care. All it cares about is, is, is enjoying the moment, the presence. That's all it cares about. Having fun. Some of you guys can't understand this because in order for you to even achieve this type of energy or engage with this energy, you need to surrender to it. You need to give it the respect it requires for you to live like this. Have respect. See, the mind is only there to protect you, but it just seems to me that you've been operating from the Ten of Swords, swords fear, a fear state of mind for a very long time, and it's like now you don't even know how to get out of it. Some of you guys are really going to sit there and reflect and say, damn, what the hell happened to me? I used to be so open, so free, so optimistic. I used to believe, and now, now I'm so closed off, I didn't even realize it. Some of you guys are going to get a real awakening about having to, 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 to open up again. And live, live again. Some of you guys haven't lived in a very long time. And it's time. It is time. That's your advice. That's your advice, my beautiful Libras. It's time to balance, right? Your Libra. Balance it out. Have some fun. You can't have all work and no play. You're never going to have fun. You're never going to enjoy the process. What's the point of going through a journey if you don't enjoy the process? That's all I have for you guys. Um, again, bright future is here for you. If only you choose to claim it. Have a good one, y'all.